so there was a failure in the kitchen, which is not a failure, as I all tell you. This is a cake pop. When things don't work out, guess what? There's things you can do. Got an old cake pop that didn't quite work. Got some soil coming out of some place and got some old tool. We're gonna get planting today because just because it didn't work out in the kitchen, let me tell you something, the earthworms are going to love you. And so are your plants. Yeah, it looks like it was pretty good still. So I come out in the morning to have some coffee and I end up doing little projects. So, you know, I figured I'd better share this with you. Here is a little project. You know how I strung this tool up two years ago. and It's lasted for years. Well, you know what tool is, T-U-L-L-E, there it is. I cover plants. This was covering an entire row of like totes all over the front yard. I pulled it down because I don't need it right now. And I could reuse it, it's strong enough, but sometimes they start to tear. And this one's actually doing pretty good. It's a little weathered, but it's still good to use. But I decided I'm not gonna bother with it because I get a bolt. What is it? 40 yards, 54 inches wide for 10 bucks. So I'm gonna use this around the yard in a different way. Let me tell you about blocks or cement bricks. A lot of you have walls and we plant things in it. I have, you've seen this all with walking onions. The only thing is I have to keep watering it and watering it. That's an issue, okay? No big deal, but I have to remember to water it because what is the bricks doing? What is the cement doing? The cement is porous, so porous. It's fine to grow in, even for food, but it pulls all the water out. If there's water, it acts like a sponge and it will just draw it in. And so you're constantly watering this. So I'm doing this a little different this year. You can come back on my garden tours or I'll come back and show you how it went. I'm pulling out these plastic containers that I've been growing in. Now this is perfectly fine. I've dropped these in there so it will retain a little more water. But the problem is look how small they are. So when the onions, I had walking onions in here and some garlic chives, when they got a massive root system, they had a lot of roots there and roots coming out but then now they didn't have a lot of water. The roots aren't going to hold water because the roots are looking for water. The soil, your compost, is what holds water. So as it fills with roots, you have less space. Everything's been used by the plant, so now it's less space for water retention in there. So here is what we're going to do now. We're getting rid of the plastic cups this year. Yes, we're going to fight on the cement, but we're going to do it a little differently. We'll see how it lasts. should last really good for a season. I took out a lot of soil and I'm going to stuff it now with some tool. Tool is so, well, it's gonna hold the soil so it won't fall, continue to fall down into the brick, see? So now we've got that. Now the other thing we're gonna do is I found some paper towels in the trash. Absolutely, perfectly fine to use for planting it. So we're gonna put some paper towels in there. Now the paper towels, and if you've got more, you got some old cotton clothing, you can do the same thing can stuff it down there. The cotton paper towels will hold water. So when I water the plants, this is gonna act like a sponge. But now the water is being held right at the roots, okay? Keep that in mind, where they need it. The other thing is my granddaughter, I think, made some cake pops. Obviously a few of them didn't come out. Well, I'm gonna throw one in there. That's sugar, flour, eggs, Oh my goodness, the microbes are gonna love it. So we're gonna add that in there and I might just cover it up a little bit. Now, I don't believe the ants will find it because we're covering it up with soil. Anytime you cover it up with soil, the ants aren't really happy about that. They may go into your pots and make a home, but they don't want to look for food in there. And if they do, put a little bit more soil, that usually deters them really good. Now we're gonna cover this with soil. I'm going to have to make sure I do hand water it but with all this, they can send their roots further down. Instead of having a small area, they now can send all their roots further down past the tool. See how fine the roots are? Well, they're finer, even before they got to this stage. If you can put a needle through something, roots can go through. Tree roots send the finest needles through. Look at that. Needle type roots, and then they get in there and swell later. These roots are dead, so the roots can be composted. Now we can take soil from around the property, it doesn't matter, and fill this up with whatever we want to fill it up with. 
So the tool is going to keep the soil from continuing to fall down. The paper towels are going to add some water in there. The cake pop that's in there, which could be anything. You could throw some kitchen scraps or just some leaves, green, yellow leaves from the garden on the bottom. That's going to bring earthworms, earthworms and microbes in there. And in the meantime, we just hand water. Get a watering can, leave it here and start watering. Remember, the paper towel is going to help hold water. Then we can put our little poor struggling walking onions in there. And we can fill it with that. Look at all that beautiful soil. And see the soil is healthy. See the see what happened with the roots? And we don't have to worry now. The roots have been separated from the plants, and that's gonna all compost in. So let me get this filled up and I'll show you what we're gonna do because I've already done these two. So now I have it full of soil. Let's get this little walking onion that was struggling in here. And we're gonna push him through and get him in here. If he doesn't make it, I'll find another walking onion. He's struggled for quite some time already. Okay, and there's another walking onion. See, I use sometimes I use nature's tools. Should, could have done this before I buried it completely, but you got the idea. Do it whatever way is easier for you. I'm trying to hold my cell phone and do this with you. All right. Now I took a piece of geranium. This is a bush type geranium. Let me show you here. That's a wandering. That will take off, and if you bang it, knock it, it will just break and fall apart. This is a bush type. See how it's going up? And then they do crawl on the ground, but they're not really crawling. They're just getting big and bushy. These things, well, they're both really easy. I was going to say this is really easy to root. They're both easy to root because I've been dropping them everywhere. I've got them there. I've got them way back there on the fence and all over the place. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this little piece that I broke off, and we're gonna put this in there. Now we keep it well watered. Now to make sure that the geranium is gonna get enough water, you wanna put a rock there. This will retain water for the onions as well as that. We can get as many rocks as we want. If we don't have rocks, you can always use wood. But the rocks are really good. You're gonna have earthworms coming for the cake pop. You're gonna have all kinds of stuff going on here really good. It is still going to pull the water into the brick. But again, if you load this with rocks, there will still always be some water just under the rocks. And remember the paper towels that we put down there and you could stuff newspaper or whatever. But you know, if you've got napkins and paper towels, why not use them because they're the best sponge, especially underground, you're not gonna see them and they are gonna break down. But in the meantime, as the plants are starting to get established, they have got water at their beck and call when they want it. So let's see how this goes. I've done these three here and we'll keep this well watered and this should be really cool. And then later on, if I decide to change things up, I can always move the geraniums. You can use statues. I've gotten these from the 99 cent store, but let me give you a hint on this. When they sit in water too long, they literally crumble apart. So I try to keep them up. They can get wet, but just sitting on wet soil, I've had them crumble into the soil and they can almost disappear and all you see is the little head sticking out. So I don't want to do that. So we'll come back, maybe on a garden tour, tour. You can watch it in the next few months and see how it goes. And in the meantime, I'll probably get to the rest of them because I think this is going to work better. This just ends up, especially the small ones, too small to go on for years. It's fine for the one season, but the next year the onions get so big that they have such a mass, massive root system that they don't retain enough water in the pot because basically they're root bound. So I'm gonna let them now go as far as they want because there's tool there and they can go through the tool. Like I said, if you can put a pin or a needle through any fabric, then any roots can get through. Keep that in mind. You can't put a pin or a needle through here, so no roots can go sideways, only through the bottom. We'll see if this works better. Try it. Tell me what you think. Maybe it's going to work better for you. Maybe you've got different ways that have already been working good. And it's been working good, but I want something that's a little more permanent. So there it is all planted up. Isn't that cute? Little tiny geranium cuttings. A couple of them have some walking onions that I found around here. Rocks to hold and retain water on the top and now all it needs is a little watering and the biggest thing is I've got to remember not to come out here and hit it with a hose 
that water is too strong. And a lot of times your watering, trying to be loving to your plants is actually not. So I'm gonna to remember to hand water these daily, real good to make sure they set root. And now that should be really cool. Now, the only issue is I've gotta get rid of the rest of those cake pops before I get ants. Once they're buried, it'll be fine. Maybe I will just leave my pot there for now. So I will remember to water these. Isn't that cool? So if it doesn't work out, you don't have cake, you'll have plants. That's even better, better for our health. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. That is really cute. Tell me what happened. Um, half of the cake pops I made, I was able to freeze. So I was able to dip them in the chocolate. And then I ran out of chocolate. And then the ones I had left over weren't staying. And when I tried mushing them back together to roll to put in the freezer, they were dissipating and not staying in ball-like form. That one slammed onto the floor when I was trying to, um, <laughs> when I was trying to put it away so it would stand up on this grate so it could dry. It just slammed onto the floor. So that one didn't do well, but there's also little balls in there. Somewhere oh no, they're not have. anymore. I already dug them out. Oh, you These did? are going to be the favorite of worms and microbes. So your cake pops are now going to go in to the vegetable garden. So say well, goodbye. I'm glad that they're going to use. Yeah. <laughs>